Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Some Tool Universe. So today we want to look into some crafting. Uh, so we've been busy. We've been doing a lot of crafting components. I've just done them on my character. I've been busy in real life. Like if you're going to go into industry in Dual Universe, you're going to spend a lot of time at first, especially if you're soloing it like I am right now. You're going to spend a lot of time at your base. It's not really rocket science. You know, we're, we're sitting here. We're basically linked up. We're doing our crafting through the K key here. We pick different things. I tell it to craft stuff. Um, you know, I went out and mined most things around my property. Uh, now, I could easily go out and mine out, you know, out here, obviously. Um, these ones, I believe, gives you the right to actually dig on them. I think these are accidents, but I could go to them if I wanted to, I think, pick up their ores. Uh, the uh, small ores, I believe, do not regenerate. That's just a glitchy thing. It comes back. Um, they do not come back. I thought they would, but they don't. So that's fine. I don't know if they did a long, long time ago. That's why I thought they might, but uh, it's not a big deal because you have a huge world. You're not going to run out of the surface ones. Um, but anyway, so what's happening now is basically now that I have a bunch of these, we're ready to craft. Now, crafting, unfortunately, is a little more complicated than that. We could go and use our you know crafter here, but I think the best way here is still using your crafting and just make sure you uncheck these buttons up here. And then just start with something like a basic container. So I like to craft some basic containers over time. Why? 64,000 liters. Okay, how how much do these hold, you wonder? Okay, look at this. They hold 8,000 liters plus your, you know, your, your bonus from talents, obviously. But we're ignoring that. How much do these hold? I, I actually know, but 1,000 liters. I'm just showing you guys. So, like, that's the thing, right? So 1,000, 8,000, 64,000 literally continues to uh, eight times at each time. Uh, I'm not sure if the next one's going to be like 512 or something crazy, obviously, but right now it's uh, it's doing it. Actually, I guess we could find out. Let's. What does a large container offer? 128,000 jerks. So obviously they change it on that one. Um, but yeah, so the medium container, I feel like we could make this in the future. I think we could afford most things, but there's a few things you're going to need. First of all, um, if you want to do the medium, you're going to have to have a basic assembler line L. Well, that's not going to happen because we don't have that. So let's let's look at that basic assembler, right? So basic assembler L. OK, here it is. So by the way, there's a schematic system in this game. So you're going to be like, OK, how do I you know, build stuff and whatever? It'll tell you if you hover over here, you'll need a tier one elemental schematic. OK, doesn't sound terrible. Um, so there it is, and it also tells you what you can craft it in. So um, you can craft it in a basic assembler uh, line M, which is kind of cool, so that's all good. Uh, what about that basic crafting one? That's probably our basic uh, sorry container. So we'll go back to that one. So this one is done in assembly line L, which that's fine. Okay. Um, what kind of schematic is this? A tier 1 M elemental schematic. Okay, so we're starting to see the... Starting to see how things are. Okay, well, you know what? We need to make a basic smelter and different things like that over time, right? So what are we looking for? A tier one uh, M schematic again. Okay, so now we're, we're getting, you're kind of getting the hang, hang of this, right? Tier one M schematic. Okay, so this is the cool part. So they added a schematic system. A lot of people are shocked and crazed by it. And even I was at first, but it's actually a little bit better than you'd think. So if you hit control K, I'm guessing, oh, it has a schematic one up here. So yes, yeah, schematics here, right under your crafting. Um, oddly enough, it doesn't show control K on there. This is your uh, thing. So I actually searched for it already and this is, you know, whatever. So we, we type in element, uh, it doesn't matter. It's already there, right? So we, we type it in and search and you got your S, M, whatever. So I know for a fact, I would like to make a couple more S chests because it'll be a while before I get the M ones. And it would, I wouldn't mind it. So I'm going to go ahead and make one of these. Now, this is the cool part. Okay, so that's using one of five slots. Okay, you're, you're probably thinking, okay, let's queue some more. Well, this is where you would be wrong. You're not queuing it. You're consecutively running them at the same time. Yes. So honestly, I'd probably want you know more of these actually so if i do two of these i guess these would be back to back i'm guessing i haven't actually tried this so let's try this out right now oh we might have uh server oh yeah there you go 
I'll probably confuse the server a bit. It looks like they're doing it. Okay, they did it separate. They split them up. That's cool. Oh, look at you have a batch of one of two. Never mind. I take it back. There's batch one of two, so we can cancel that. They push them down, obviously. So there you go. So that's what happens if you do that. So if you want to do a bunch of them, going to bed, whatever, that's how you would do it, obviously. So there we go. Um, so we have one of those. You know what? Let's do... You know what? Screw it. You know what? I want to do one more M. And I want to do one more S. Because the M's are going to be important. Now, what's important also is to note how many copies you get out of these. So when you start for the super small stuff, like the tiny ones like you have in there, they give you 10 copies at once, basically. So you're paying only 3,750 credits. It takes 12 minutes, 30 seconds. I don't believe you can reduce these times, not at this time. And you get 10 of them. You go down here, you get five. You get three. I think you're getting the picture of this. You get two. And I'm thinking we can probably guess how many you get here. Yep, that's right. You get one. Very expensive time-wise. So probably early on, especially since this is only the third video for you guys, for me, it's been like a whole like two days basically of uh, you know time in the game. Well, not really. I mean, AFK most of the time, but uh, for you guys, it's only the third episode. So if you're watching this in the first day, this is a win for you. Basically, start queuing these up ahead of time. It's not a big deal, and they'll they'll let you do stuff early on. So we're gonna run those a while. Now there are ways to make money. I really, really, really suck at this way. Um, basically. There is, I'm going to show you this quickly and then we'll, we'll do a, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to play the whole thing for the challenge because they are painful and you just, you know, it's not worth it. Basically, there's an air delivery challenge and a space delivery challenge. So if I go to the space delivery or sorry, the air delivery challenge, um, we're going to start the challenge here. And basically the reason I suck at this is I'm going to show you, they have a little flaw. I've asked them. As a suggestion on their forms, maybe they can, you know, add this uh, in. But I'm going to show you here in a second. You'll laugh at my issue. <laughs> oh, let me do a cut because I'm pretty sure these take a... Oh, actually, this might load okay. Yeah, we'll do a cut just in case. It's actually loading pretty good, though. 94. I think this is where it stalls out a bit. Welcome to the delivery challenge. Of course, I do a cut and it loads up like right away. Pick up goods from multiple locations and bring them up to a flying base. First, get some scrap from the dispenser and keep for this challenge we will lend you a ship. Okay. Ships without cargo containers are much easier. Okay, so we'll cancel her. So there are ships here that have big cargo containers. There's other ships that have like next to nothing or no cargo, I guess. So you got this one, tiny cargo. We go check this one out. I'm guessing you have a bigger cargo container probably inside of you. This one has a lot of small ones on the outside, big one here. So this ship probably carries a lot. But its maneuverability might be a lot harder as well. So you have to you have to balance those out. So the idea here is basically you choose a vehicle. So let's try this one out. Like I said, I'm going to suck at this one. And the reason for this is if you right click here and you go to advance and change control schematic, you cannot actually change them to keyboard and mouse like I do. And that that's literally why. So I have to fly this with WASD keys. And now you understand why I suck at these challenges. And this one's harder than the space one usually because I picked a location there you go. random between all the pickup points. However, you can use any of the six. You hey. will most likely need to do more than one trip to collect and deliver all the items. When you get there, the proper container will have a waypoint. When you have picked up we'll hit V off, we don't need that one. Them to the vortex. It floats one thousand meters high. So one kilometer up. Okay. So this is the problem right here, obviously. Okay, hey, okay, 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 okay. Well, I think we did this one actually pretty good. Because it does have a bit of a hover a feature to this. So I would say, actually, I did that really good. I had practice because I did the space one over and over and over because there was other bugs that prevented me from doing it too at the time and so i actually got some practice in um so let's see where's our linking container here we go so we can just right click and set link container there you go so here you go so link container now that you have picked up some cargo you can go straight to the vortex to drop it off or if you have cargo i guess that's so little space on it so you can keep going here so this is the idea basically so we're just gonna hop into this again 
it's fun. And so you're like in an instance world, basically. Like consider it like VR. Um, and so you're not actually, you know. So I guess you just go to anything you can see. See, this is the problem. I don't see anything. Oh, I see something over here. I see something over here. There you go. There you go. Now be careful. You crash this, your game over. So you do all this and you're at the very, very last goal. That's it. You, you've lost it all. This is actually easier than the space one, to be fair. I was kind of maneuvering all over the place, which this pace is better than the space one, too. So, um, oddly enough, I think uh, I'm getting the hang of this better than I thought. So, there you go. The game now on purposely, like, it on purposely floats you above stuff. Even in space, it does that. So, either you can hold down C and slowly try to fight it down, or you just ignore it and you just do it. So, let's see if these start filling up. Look at that. That's That's cool. So, this thing is actually really good. There you go. And now they should at the station or the floating thing, at least the space one, they they had a waypoint system kind of thing there. So you can click it and it'll help you find them. If not, well, we'll figure it out. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Now keep in mind, this is going to start getting heavier too, right? So the heavier this is, the more slower it gets the sluggish it is the slower it takes to slow down things like that right so you got to realize that okay i say we're doing pretty damn good though <laughs> okay here you go Yee. We're just going to go ahead and get this container here. This might really hit us here. And yet, look at this. I love this. Well, it's a nice big one, too. So the, the one that you would hold a lot of stuff on the, the space station is actually broken, too. I think it's a forklift. And when you get into it, what ends up happening is it just keels over. <laughs> so it's like, oopsies. Okay, so we're going to go up here, I think. Uh-oh, 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 we're fine, we're fine. So what ends up happening here is we have to get out of our ship, which is great. You can you can recover from this, thankfully, from these mistakes. And we use our maneuver tool, which is in your inventory. And then you just click it, and then, yeah, you can manipulate it, basically. Whee! So I guess worst case scenario, let's just say like your ship is destroyed and you can't fly it, but like your delivery is like somewhere on the ground and you're close by kind of thing. You could, if you really, really could, you know, if you're, you're willing to go for the pain of it, I guess you could drag it all the way there. I don't think it would be worth it, but it might be fun to do. Okay. So we're going to go up. Yeah, I think we should head back though now because like we're starting to this thing is like really heavy even to maneuver this is like you can feel it there you go Our goal is to get up here without crashing into this, but at the same time, somehow stopping right on top of it. Okay, right like this, like this, like this. We're just going down. Yeah, right here. I think we couldn't do any better than this if I tried. I'm not even going to try to maneuver in a better position. You know, I'll get better at this as I do this every day. You can do these every 18 hours, these challenges. But we did, we amazingly did this. Oh, yes, they do have the thing here. Um, so we're going to dump here and you'll start getting these checked off for you. So boom, boom. And then of course, boom, there you go. So hit F on this if it's not turning on. Oh crap, these aren't working at all. Oh no. 
So this is supposed to light up and show you where the things are. So the good news is I kind of already know where we're going just for the fact that like I have some practice with what we've done or not practice. Like I've never done this one really. Well, I have done it before I crashed, but I mean like I know where I'm going because I saw them. That one, that one. And I'm guessing there's three more and then something over there. So I think we can do this without those working. But those are supposed to actually show you. So they would show the names up top, like what you have on the top left. And then basically you would use those to get there. It ain't working right now. So. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. So we have to stop, hit this, and then thrust up. Okay. I have to say I'm actually amazed how decently i'm doing i'm sure you guys are thinking oh you're doing bad wait did we not go we know we didn't go to this one we were thinking of it and then we weren't doing well so remember this is atmosphere but you have wings you are technically like i'm gliding in right now kind of thing with our speed and inertia and that's kind of like the idea like keep in mind you can do that oh wait this is where we started oh this is where we started our challenge <laughs> So I guess, yes, if you were to crash and you survive, if you don't die, you can get back in here and grab the components out of here. How cool is that? Okay, I actually kind of like that. So I would assume these two here, and there's probably a third. Yeah, third third one there, so there you go. I just don't know where we're supposed to land here. Remember, it is a hover vehicle, right? Too, or it has hover capabilities. So, I'm not sure where we're supposed to go here. So, I'm just gonna try to find a way. Now, if you use the GPS thing up top, like I showed you, right? They would light up the way. So, I just want to let you know. Normally, it would be a little easier. So obviously all the containers aren't like a easy to, I'm guessing it's going to be the roof to be fair, but oh yeah, here we go. Roof right here. And I use you one more. It has an arrow up. So I'm guessing, yep, there we go. Yeah. Look at this. This is the glass one. Awesome. Okay. Oh, my poor ship. That's good we have the one uh, kilometer range upgrade because it would be annoying chasing this all the way. You, you know, like I would have to take class by class. Well, basically, I just run back and bring it with us, right? But okay. I'm proud of myself. I'm doing better. After that space one last night, I have seemed to learn the controls. It's just it's just like, you know, like I, I don't use these kind of controls. I even have. I just bought it too for other games in the future. I was thinking, you know, if I want to play like Elite or whatever, but I bought myself a gamepad and I thought, oh, I can use this in some games. This game doesn't support gamepads at this time. Unfortunately, I don't know if it ever will. I, I think it might eventually, as long as, you know, the developers still exist. Um, I'm not putting negativity on that. I'm just saying, as long as, you know, like the game's around in a couple of years kind of thing, I feel like they would buy then. But they didn't during the whole beta, obviously. So, um, but that's not really far fetched because another game that is kind of similar to this. I, I don't, you know, I don't like to compare saying which one's better because they all have their charms. Uh, but Starbase, for example, as far as I know, they still didn't add those kind of controls as well. And so their control and their controls was also kind of finicky. And that's kind of the thing, like. It's just these games are all doing it. It's not, you know, it's not just one. It's just how it is. So it's like, oh, okay. And I mean, if the, I'm sure they'd be more courage to do it if, you know, for example, the game was, for, this game would never run on console. But uh, if, you know, if even on the Steam Deck or whatever, or like, you, you know, like those kind of things, um, you know, but the f problem is it uses the, a cheat protection system that doesn't let you use, uh, it's not usable in Linux. So that's a reason why, you know, okay, well, they don't need to work on the Steam Deck version ever because it, they, you know, will never work, right? So look at this pure gold. Didn't actually know gold was a thing in this game, to be fair. Now, doesn't pure gold, like, isn't it, like, ridiculously heavy mass-wise or something? 
Maybe not volume, but mass. That's just your repair thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think we actually have them all. This is the part I'm just impressed with. I think I can actually do this. Okay. So we're going to head back now. And then we're going to do this. And there we go. We're doing it, my friends. We're doing it. And once you get that speed going, it, it steers pretty good here. This thing has a lot of rust on it, so. So this Atmos feel, feel if this thing, I mean, I think it drives like it, like it, legitimate. It's not like, oh, you know, it could do that or whatever. It's, you know, they script it, but, you know, it doesn't actually fly this well. No, this thing flies as well. So this thing would last a very long time, apparently. Oh, crap. There you go. I just want to get it in a better spot. Imagine falling down. Well, here's a key. If you fall down, though, and the ship doesn't come with you, you can always run to one of the other ones. So, And there we go, my friends. So I think we might have done it. I feel so proud of this. There we go. And now we have to do the gold. Can I get a cut of this gold? <laughs> So, yeah, I would say this worked out really, really well. I'm sure the space one would work out well as well if the one ship was not working, but yeah. Return to the garage. Okay. So now we know what, which one this, the garage is, so. so. I didn't pay attention to the percentages the whole time, so you might be able to do them all, but keep in mind your ship maneuverability would get even heavier and heavier and heavier. So if I got cocky here, we could easily die. And then all of that's gone to waste. You'd have to redo the whole thing from scratch. I'm not saying I'm going to do that. I'm just saying if you wanted to get cocky for some reason. There you go. Remember, controls those brakes, and this thing has really good braking. the challenge, activate the highlighted teleporter in the next room by using the interact key. There you go. Ta-da! Awesome. That was that was smooth. I'm sure many other players are like a million times better than me, but I've never actually done this challenge. This only the space one. And I've only done it once. And I think I did really good. So Yeah, so the idea is you wouldn't be able to do this challenge now for another 18 hours or so. Um next time it says now. Which I'm a little confused on that, but uh it might need time to update. But yeah, so basically um yeah you can only do it once every 18 hours so but that was cool i actually enjoyed that i hope you guys enjoyed that so um since that went so well we still have to wait six minutes for these blueprints to finish so uh we'll come back here in a few minutes and we'll try it out okay here it is our first schematic here gonna happen in five four three two one Yay, there we go, retrieve. So it's a physical item. You get a bunch of them in your inventory. And then I guess you could sell these. So you could, you know, f put them on the market. Tier 1S element. So let's actually check the market. Tier 1S L. So there you go. If we go here and then we go all, I guess. There you go. So some people are selling it as low as... Oh, yeah, they're selling it as low as 30000 But that's per... Her blueprint so that's not bad how much was it again to make oops it cost uh seven okay so they're making a wee bit it is a very pathetic amount of money but if you make a bunch of them and then you sell them in bulk you know what i mean you could you could you can make you know a few credits over it basically um I, so it makes sense right but that's how it works anyways, which is pretty cool. So let's try this out. I don't actually know how this is going to work. So I'm actually kind of interested in this. So we're going to use this one here. So we're going to go configure basic container. We're going to pick this one. We're going to apply it to this. And this says that we have none left, but that's probably because we don't actually have it in the system, right? So we're going to put it into our link container because this is set to the link container. I still don't know 
Maybe maybe I'm supposed to use it, like consume it like candy. I am new to this, obviously, so. Equip. It doesn't mean anything. Unclaim, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, are we still on the wrong thing? Oh, basic assembly line. Oh, this is the basic. It was throwing me off so much. Yeah, I don't know how to get in here. But then again, this might not. No, this is. These are connected. I think. So you run this once, yeah. Connect. Uh, is this connect to using the tool? Okay, output. Oh, the output's not connected there. So we should probably do that now, actually. So it doesn't matter how you do it, right? You can put it back in or you don't have to. So we're going to go from here, basically, to here. It lets me. Oh, I don't think it will let you because I think you have to. Interesting. I don't think it likes to. So I think you could probably still pick it up inside, I believe. But yeah, it might not do that. I still have to figure out how to add the blueprint in here. So give me a minute to figure that out. Okay, I, it's on the machine itself. There's something called a schematic bank. So it looks like you actually store it in the machine, which makes sense because you'll probably want one machine to run like, you know, maybe 50 of these and you know 20 of these and things like that. It kind of makes sense that way. So there we go. So there we have it, I think. So we'll just run. You can only run three, basically. So. Yeah, I don't know if it'll yell at you for more than that, but let's do three of them then. Oh, we have five of these schematics, actually. There you go. There you go. Cool. I just don't know how I can pick it up. I don't know if I can pick it up, you know, or if the link one of these contain. You know what I mean? So maybe that would be the way to do this. Actually, is remove the linkage off of this. How do I do that? Middle mouse button, right? There you go. I mean, this thing might hold... Well, I guess it could probably hold one of those containers. I just want to... There you go. Just in case if you need to, right? Oh, that's how the linkage works for those, too. Cool. I mean, oh, look at that. Did you just see that? Oh, that's cute. Five left the process. So I think it might be 23 minutes per process, which makes sense. You, you know, you're going to get efficient faster, blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, let's leave that for now and we'll come back here in three minutes or so and see if it worked out. Okay, here we go. Process uh, 342, I guess, leaders. Yeah. Or is that the stuff I need to get? Yeah. 342. No, that's right. Okay, there you go. So. It's in this container. We did it, my friends. We have built our first small container just on our own. So we can place it here just like the rest of them. Just making sure we weren't, you know, we did make the same damn thing. <laughs> or we could go and sell it and see if we can get something from it in the long run. If not, not a big deal anyways. But I thought, eh, you know, since we're making a few of them anyways, let's go ahead and sell this one. Give it a try anyways and go from there so it's a beautiful evening here I think my ship might have taken some damage do we have scrap on us? yeah we do we'll see if we need to fix it I think one time I went too hard on the pad over here so it just needs a bit of work I think Now, this is not like one of those bigger ones. We'll have to go near one of those eventually. So you're not like going to get a lot of business here. But, uh, you know, the people around here might want to buy these. I mean, if they need a couple, right? Why pay, pay you know, for the, uh, uh, you know, 99 or whatever thousand small one 
then they can buy mine, you know what I mean? So, that's how I see it anyways. There you go. Awesome. There we go. His name's Fusion. Okay, so here's our orders. I mean, we have all these sell orders. They're not going to go anywhere right now. It's just whatever. Um, I should bring back the hydrogen or some hydrogen, to be fair. So we're just going to dump this on here. And now I guess you need to find it on here first because, like, I don't know what its value is. There is no, like, nice, you know, oh, this is what it's worth, blah, blah, blah. No, I guess not. Okay. So, uh, basic container. I wrote it right. Yeah, there you go. So, it's being full, sold for 91000 Okay. So, let's just sell it for, say, or 80000 I think that's pretty fair. We're just selling one of them. And we're selling it at 80. One, two, three. We'll just say three days. And there you have it. And if somebody wants it, they can. So if we go here and search for them now, there you go. There, there we are. Now, I'm sure other people might be selling them even less out there. If this is literally sorted per unit, we are actually the cheapest person on the entire server. Wow. Okay. I'll let it be the first one, that one. But yeah, uh, I'm actually a little surprised by that. Cool. Oh yeah, I said I wanted to take some of this with me, the hydrogen, because I use the hydrogen for the uh, that one material. So let's go back here. Yeah, the oxygen I don't really use at all. Yeah, I know you can't go back into my container, but can I take some of you? I guess you have to delist it maybe first. I don't know. Ah, eh, whatever. I can get more when I mine. <laughs> Anyways, that worked out well, so I'm really happy about that. Oh, yeah, what about the schematic here? Here we go. So we have one. Oh, this is where I wish you could, like... Can, can you move this at all? No. Okay, so let's see here. If you inspect this, is there a... Oh, that's too bad. It's like I'm a bit of an idiot, right? So it'd be nice if I could do... I guess I could do this. Um. Yeah, you could do this, I guess. Here we go. It's up there, right? So if I go to market now, oops, sorry. I guess I could just search here anyways. Tier 1S element. So somebody must be selling this for something. None here. They're selling it as low as three. Okay. So if you want to, I mean, you're probably not going to sell it because, I mean, other people don't seem interested in it. Almost expiring, but um, you got five of them. Let's say 2,500 for fun because that would easily obviously you know oh look at all the things it does show you all the products that it works on too which is kind of cool so let's do that let's go to might have to do it through here but let's do storage and let's just do literally here uh so i wonder if i have the other ones ready might as well do them yeah here you go oh these are the m ones oh i might as well, I might as well do these There you go. And uh, anyways, so let's yeah let's search for these ones now. Darn it! I need the I I need the the visual information to help me. I'm a bit of a dumb me. But that that's nice. I can do this at least. There you go. Oh you, oh no, it's still there. Okay. Nice. Okay. So tier one M element. Okay. So somebody sells it for 25 here. The lowest is 12. I think we were paying what, like 15 or something per one. So yeah, I think I might do it for 10 just to beat everyone out. But let's just double confirm what we're actually paying for this 15. Yeah. And you get three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, value my time and think, oh, you know what? 10, 10 is good enough for me. And, uh, yeah, let's do five of them. 
And we're going to do 10. Oh, you know what? Let's do 12. And we'll see three days. Because if I sell those, right? I mean, it's still making you, you know, money, right? So, well, the batches and yeah, let's do six. There you go. So, 72, right? So, and we would have spent 45, I guess. So, it's a bit of money. It's also just for fun, right? So, so I should probably do more of those, though, to be fair. Do, 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 do. So, we're doing more S's, obviously. I did them in two batches there. So let's do M's. We'll do them in. Uh, we'll just do one each, I guess, each time. One, two, and then three. That way I'll have them. And then I guess next time we'll see how it goes. It'll have to be like tomorrow, I guess, because uh, it'll be too late doing it tonight. Oh, well, it's only actually six, so maybe I will do another episode. The next episode is going to probably be cut up a lot because I would like to obviously work on some of these other materials, but. The, the truth is, it takes a very long time to do this. It's not easy to do like, oh, I'm going to do a let's play of me building a small factory when you'll probably spend most of your time actually building the factory pieces and it could take like 10 hours, kind of, you know what I mean? But um, I can always, you know, stop it for the day and then just piece it again the next day too, right? So um, might be worth it. Now, this thing, you can buy a bunch of, you know, fun blocks here, by the way. Yeah. One time purchase, you know, so you just get a bunch of starter settler special building. Yes, yeah, so you get all these blocks here to get you started if you want. You don't have to, but yeah, let's do it for fun. There you go. And then my poor inventory is a little full there. Yeah, but it's just blocks that we can use to build with. So, but anyways, I think that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.